are at the Alabama River. It's in our backyard. <laughs> the river's in our backyard. We, uh, we got a phone call that it's the Coosa, is that right? What have they done? They've opened up to... Just opened up the, the locks or whatever the dams because of all the flood water up there. Flood water. Which, when they release it in the upper locks, then it hits seeds. So, we're thinking that we're going to have water all under here. And we possibly may be taking the new boat home. But I'm here to see. <laughs> We've got a new pier down here. I thought even we'll get to see it. This is way up from when I was down here last. I don't get invited down here very often. The guys come and they don't include me. But they came down, when was it? Back in the fall? And built a pier. Built a brand new pier. It, now, it, it's about six foot down there. Where is the pier? It's about six foot down. The pier is completely underwater. That's not real good for that wood, is it? It's pressure treated. Well, I know it's pressure treated, but but there's a lot of things. I see things going down the river over there, don't you? Mm -hmm. A lot of debris. Now, I've took my belt finder uh -huh. at normal poo out in the middle of that 70 foot deep out there. Normally. Normally, it's 70 foot. It's so probably it's probably 75 now. Uh huh. 76, you can see where the middle is with all the debris. Look at them telephone poles. Those things are usually about six foot out of the water. Yeah, these are about six foot out of the water. So, it's an overcast, dreary day. I have not even gotten to ride. The, look at how much this tree is under. I've not even gotten to ride the new boat. And. She's so proud. If the water wasn't so up, and it's very rapid too, I'd say, let's go on a boat ride. <laughs> I ain't getting the boat out in that. I'm not, getting, I'm not getting my body out in that. I mean, I wouldn't be scared. I'd take my boat ride out in that. But, I mean, it just, there, there's no sense in it. But this is our little bungalow. Well, let's go down here and look at all the water. So this comes up from down this end, doesn't it? Because it, it, yeah, there's a there's another slough back this way that's lower. So that's how we get water. It doesn't come from the banks well yet. <laughs> it can. It could. It could. I don't think it'll breach the bank either. But see where the water's coming from is a slough that's further on over. As you can see, it's low down here. So see how the water's coming up out of the woods. Boy, look at this ground. You can tell it's been beat down with some rain. Look. Oh, yeah. There's been some heavy rain. We're going to go back through Selma, and I'm going to let you see the damage from the tornado there several weeks ago. Just destroyed so much of the beautiful historical homes and Selma doesn't have a lot of financial backing already as far as restoring the gorgeous homes you know there's so many so much history in Selma where they did the freedom walk across the bridge and it's just sad that there's not funding to keep um to restore that area, but I'm afraid it's not going to get restored. Look how beautiful and green everything is. John said, check it, make sure ain't no gators over here. <laughs> There's gators down here. They're up in the sloughs. But, you know, get the water up. They could. So Suzanne's watching. I can run now this foot. I'd like to come down here more, but I want him to come more than me because this is his passion. This is his love. And so when he comes, he comes with the guys. And I don't want to come down here with a bunch of roughneck. 
guys. They want to sit around the fire and talk about what they want to talk about. They don't want a woman sitting there. Now, John and I came and spent two nights, but it was two years ago. I haven't even been back. This is, this is his thing. This is what he loves. This is what his daddy did with them. But yeah, we got a brand new pier right down there. Completely covered up with water. That moss. You get that in South Alabama. You can take it home back to North Central and it won't grow. Just won't grow. But you can tell how there's a lot of rapid movement in it. Hey, will you open the door so I can go to the bathroom? What? Will you open the door so I can go to the bathroom? Yeah. A bottle tree. I think, what are these big cages? They don't brought them to make coffee beds out of them. Huh. Drop them in the river. I don't know so much about it. You don't know so much about that? No, not really. All right, come on. You have to watch your step. These are very steep. Yeah. Dang, dang, you leave it on. Sure did. Wasn't supposed to, was he? Sit on 75. Cool. No, we don't really leave this on. Turn me on some lights. I don't want to run up on a critter. This bathroom right back there. You can come this way. This look, looks better. Since look, it's got look all, that all our new technology. <laughs> <laughs> Lamp, touch lamps. <laughs> yeah, that couch. You've replaced that couch since I was here. Yeah. <laughs> and here's our bathroom here. There's our little laundry room. Little add-ons. It's very spacious. It is very spacious. Very spacious. Once uh, once we got a hold of it and threw away all the stuff that was in here. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm going to the bathroom. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this for a fish camp, river house. Look at there, what a view. I I, I think it's a nice little place myself. <laughs> it's a dang good place. I think it's very nice. I could put up my camera and do a teaching lesson. You could. You're probably making a lot of noise. Are you gonna sit in a truck? Uh, or I'll you... sit up here. What do you? What all you got to do? Um, I'm picking hook my boat up and take it to the top of the hill. You're not gonna take it home? No, I'm not taking it home. Okay. Well, yeah, just give me my Bible and I'll uh, I'll come up here and see it. You don't need me, do no, you? No, no. I mean, I just came for pretty decoration, didn't I? You did. What do you want out here? You want your um, my Bible, Bible, your notebook, your Yeti, and your purse, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You want your purse? Um, yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go sit on the porch. Get us a little table over here. <coughs> All right. You sit there right there. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you don't need me. Yep. Okay. Well, here I am. He's going to move the boats up to higher ground. I thought we were taking it home. But you see what I'm talking about when I say I'd like to come down here while they're fishing? And I'd like just to sit here and read, study my Bible. So maybe, maybe I'll get to do that more. Well, one thing, mostly I was five weeks out from surgery when I sent him down here first time. He stayed by my side for five solid weeks and I sent him down here to start fishing, so I've been recuperating this year. And yes, and last year they didn't fish as much. One of their dear, dear, dear friends died. And it's really changed a lot of things because he came with them. And so last year was kind of a hard year. 
Listen how quiet. Nothing going on here but the birds and the animals. This is just such a good outing for him and his brothers to get out, cousins, to come down here. We never fished. I was telling John, my life was different. My church, my church, <laughs> my life really evolved around church a lot growing up, but my daddy wasn't really an outdoorsman, and so we didn't fish and do all that. I wished we had done more recreational stuff, but we didn't. My brothers always fished, just getting out and going fishing, and they swam, they could get out and go. But as a family, John that's what John's daddy did with them. He took them fishing, he took them to the Tennessee River, he took them places. And so I've never, we did buy a camper at one time and put it up on Smith Lake, but I don't really remember camping that much. I think it was up after I was older. So, it's very peaceful down here. I told him I might sit here and and do a lesson. I think I will. The only thing is, I need the river in the background, don't I? <laughs> if I'm going to teach a good lesson, I need to turn my chair around put the river in the background, but then I won't have anywhere to put my I won't have anywhere to put my camera. We're gonna, like I said, he's gonna move both boats and then we're gonna ride up to Selma and I'm gonna show you, um, I haven't even seen the damage of the tornadoes. I've got my, what does that say? Not perfect, just forgiven. It's amazing how much better t-shirts feel when you've lost 40 pounds, <laughs> 43 pounds now. <laughs> It's amazing that you can still wear the same t-shirts. They just feel so much better. Oh, I'm glad I got out today. I was not feeling good this morning. He woke me up about 6.45 and I was like, I don't know if I can do it or not. And I've been in a lot of pain on the way down here. When it's true, one of the places that I really hurt with true fibromyalgia pain is my back around my rib cage. I don't know what it is about my rib cage. But after we ate, we stopped and ate at Cracker Barrel and I ate too much. And I probably, John said, that's the most I've seen you eat in six months. And I don't know, it just tasted so good, I guess, because it was just breakfast and it was away. And usually I eat half of my plate and I ate almost every bit of it. But um, there's a big old log going down there. Yeah, I wouldn't get out there right now for nothing. Get a log. Um... But my back hurts up in the middle of my back, um, around my rib, around my rib cage, and I've had a headache the last few days. And I really was going to go get my eye checked, and I, I haven't had any visual disturbances since I did Friday night and Saturday night. I haven't had it since then. But I kept the heated seats on all the way from where we ate breakfast, probably about hour and forty five minutes down here, the heated seat zone, and took an 800 ibuprofen, and it feels like it's eased a good bit. So, still not, still haven't gone back on the fibro medicine, the Celebrex. I'm really trying to stay off of it, which is a good thing, right? It's a good thing. All right, I'm going to turn this around. I think I might teach a lesson. We'll see if I can get this worked out. Let's just see if I can get it managed. That's a big log going right there. That's the reason you don't get out with your boat when it's like this either. That's a big log.
Lord, I just ask you to protect their boats. Marie's taking them to dry land. I thought we was bringing it home. Got insurance on it, but you know as well as I do, if anything gets stolen, you lose money on it. Which ones has it gone over since we've been here? Those last two? Yeah, the last two wasn't, out of, wasn't in the water. <laughs> oh, it's rising fast. I know, I was watching down there on the... Oh, the alligator? Ugh. You get a little bit all up down here. Not me. I was watching down there in the edge, though, for... I said, now there could be a little gator come up through there. Lord, what are you going to do with all this stuff? Uh, I got to get some of it out of here. So that's like my spare tire sitting over there. Tire plug down the river. That's a that's a hundred and fifty dollar tire. I can't have my brand new spare going down the river. You gonna put that in your I'm gonna put it on the porch. Uh-huh. Put a fish table on the porch. Oh, that's nice. Where'd you get that? I bought it at um Northern Pools. Well. Wow. Fish on yeah. It. You hold the pipe to it and it's a well. Portable. Yeah, that's that river's rising fast. It is. At least you want to take a picture of of the river facing the river. You might want to go ahead and send her one of this. And... Okay, I I did one of facing the river too. We're leaving the river, and John said you got to see these little houses. Are they new houses? Yeah. New houses new. built down here. They look like the little. Um, Seaside. Tiny homes. Tiny homes, yeah. But the colors are like what they paint, like at the ocean. Well, they're not living in them. No, nope, but they ever one got meter cans on them. Well, driveways like they're. I wonder how come they're not, they've not been approved or something? I don't know. Now, I think that one is. It had a little wind chime. Well, then that's odd that they're all empty. said there's been so much cleanup already. This was a historical cemetery that I have an old video back from several years ago that we went in there. Beautiful live oaks everywhere and it just about took every one of them down didn't it? it you can see it. Yep. See it there and it is an old old cemetery. What a shame that'll never be the same. This is for the tornado hit. Oh my gosh, really bad. Wow. It's destroyed everything, didn't it? Are they still in that house? I'm gonna show you the plantation to get you so you can get an angle on the it. Surely. Oh my gosh. Took the whole top off of it. What a plantation. I want y'all to look. Tornado took the whole top off of that. <laughs> no telling how. Does it got the dates on the front there? I don't see it. Oh, there. It looks like they're redoing it already, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. They've got. We'll pull up there. I wonder if that was a major residence. 
said something had like a marker or like a glass house or something. Oh, wait, they have.